Hey, that's right, Eric. Here in the studio with me this morning, we have Father Brooks Keith. And you know, last time you were in the studio, I was out doing what Eric was doing, so I could I could hear you. I couldn't see you, but I heard you talking about all the pancakes for Fourth of July. Right, and I and I want to say something about Good Morning uh, uh, Valley. Um, I want to say, can, can we do kind of a GoPro segment? I would love to go out there. I wear my <laughs> collar, and and ride around. And we can go into the chapels. I mean, seriously, we could go just remote. Do, just do a little remote uh, chapel we tour. We could do a remote chapel tour. I just, I, I want, I want the GoPro. Um, <laughs> and, and anyway, it looks so cool when you were out there. Oh man, I well, I got to tell you, it's quite possibly the best job ever. Yes. And you know, what I would want to see. I would want to see in the Vale Chapel where um, I've ne I've never been in there before. But I, from what I understand, it was the first place that we actually had a school. In the Vale Valley, in the basement. In that's, the basement, that's, that's where the that's school true. originated. We can so. do we can do oh, the uh, yeah. special features back back door tour. Okay, we'll plan. We can do the back door we'll tour. I, I, that's an invitation. <laughs> <coughs> hey, wait, let's get Ashley in the chapel. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, <coughs> that that sounds fantastic. You're welcome anytime. Awesome. Anytime. Well, so listen, you were talking about this amazing pancake breakfast for the Fourth of July, and I was out I was out there roaming around, and I saw it was very very busy in your little corner of, <coughs> of the world. We served uh, 175 people pancakes. Wow. And we had a, uh, it, it was fantastic, four generations, and people uh, designed their morning around that. And uh, it's a community event, everybody's welcome next year as well. And then we had a nine o'clock uh, interfaith um, uh, Independence Day service. And it's so touching mm. to have our rabbi, who is a Navy commander, retired commander, in his dress whites, begin the service have a Roman Catholic priest, a Presbyterian pastor, a Lutheran pastor, even the Episcopalians are welcome. And, uh, and we worship together, we sing the songs, we pray for our country. And um, it, it's a really touching way to start the day. Well, and what a, what a great way to tie in, you know, this year, the theme for the, the 4th of July parade was all about the 10th Mountain Division. Yep. So the fact that you have someone that had, you know, served previously in our military and that's who was you know, part cool. of leading your service, that's pretty incredible. And several members of all of our congregations from 10th Mountain and their families, mm -hmm. all of us have pastored uh, veterans as they, and we've watched them and said goodbye. And, um, and we have them today, uh, uh, you know, relatives and so forth. So it's a, yeah, it was a very touching, I love the parade, I thought it was fantastic. Oh my gosh, it was amazing, so, it really was amazing. But I, I'm here this morning to say summer's not done yet. No, nope, it's not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> in fact, well, I, I want, we were talking about an elongating summer. I know. So I want to tell everybody out there in the valley about a couple of things actually that's, that, that are coming up. Um, we start to uh, look at uh, 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 Empty Bowls, the Salvation Army right. fundraising event. Um, well, all wonderful, very, very fun. That's coming up uh, shortly, I think a couple of weeks. Um, we have uh, our church actually, I don't usually do this on air, but our church has a mountaintop worship service and it's the first Sunday in August, 10.30 in the morning. That seems reasonable. Up the gondola, which is, which is now uh, uh, you know, going again, uh, up the Lion's Head gondola uh, at the wedding deck. And it is one of the most beautiful Sundays of the year, hmm. overlooking Holy Cross. Um, you don't have to be Episcopalian to, you know, uh, half our folks aren't, uh, to come and join us. Um, uh, that's the first Sunday in August. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, and kind of nice that it's at 1030. I feel like most of the time when there's mountaintop services, they're very, very early in the morning for a no. sunrise. So No, no, no. Our <laughs> folks don't do early really well. So 1030 is like as early. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so 1030, first Sunday. And then um, that next week on the 7th of August, we do a fundraiser for the Edwards Interfaith Chapel. So I just want to say this. It's called Barcelona Nights. We have a wonderful meal um, and uh, uh, one of our top chefs in the Valley Cooks. And then we have opera and Broadway singers from the Santa Barbara, uh, uh, yeah, Santa Barbara Opera. And uh, it's a fun, great evening, and it's for a great cause. So I want to tell everybody about that, too. All right. You and, got a lot uh, going August on. August 7th at okay. the Edwards Interfaith Chapel there in West Edwards where all the building is going on. And uh, these are some fun summer activities. So we're not done with summer yet. No, we are not done with summer yet. And yeah. actually, um, you know, of course, we're out of time. So um, thank you for coming on this Next morning. Next Tuesday, we'll do it more. Right, yes. But to prove that point that summer is not over yet, we're going to send things out to Eric, and he's going to let, it, let us know what's going on with his epic morning adventure. And also, we'll have another look at that summer, summer weather. We are not done yet. Not even close.